Okay, so tonight I'm at the Britannia Hotel in Eastbourne. So you Cavendish. So just come up the stairs because unfortunately the lift is broke. But it does look quite grand. So this is the hallway to the room. So tonight I'm staying in room 201. Quite a bit of a, a pain missing here, but not too bad. Let's see what it's like. So I've been in here, I've put my extension lid in as normal. But this is the first impression of the room. It's not 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 too bad to be honest. It's a little bit of paint missing. We've got some nice big double drawers, two bedside tables there, and these lamps as well, which I think you're meant to be able to control from your bed, but you ain't going to be able to reach that when you're in bed. But it's just the typical Britannia. You know it's a bit rough around the edges. For instance, you can see there's a nail just bent over holding it in there. But overall, it, I'd say it's quite clean in here. They've recently had a new carpet. And that's a nice big... I'm not sure if it's a double or a king size. I think it's a king size bed that on. Certainly looks like a king size. So... So yeah, so we've got a seating area here, the chairs aren't in bad condition at all, which is the complete opposite of last night. Uh, nice dresser with tea and coffee. This is the castle going in that one. Yeah. I'd say so, that's very good. But all the extras, normally you don't get branded tea and coffee. So normally it's Britannia's own, but this is the stuff they normally give you and it's not the best by any means. We have got a bit of nice gear in there, so that's much better than what it is usually. Um, so, then we've got the biscuits. Again, you don't normally get these, so pretend you don't give you anything extra. But look at the size of this wardrobe. It is absolutely massive. Compared to the door, I'm just trying to stand back here, and you can see a bit better. But it is massive. So you easily get your clothes in there. Whether you're staying for a week or a month, you're going to get it in there. We've got a nice touch of safe, which again you don't normally get. Got an ironing board, but no iron. Maybe you ask for that reception. Some nice big extra pillows there as well. With a sealed bag, it's always good to see. Not bad. It's quite clean actually for a Britannia. They're not bad. Rather bit odd marks here and there, as you can see on the wall here, but you know I'm not too sure where that's from. But I'm not sleeping on the wall, am I? So yeah. It's a really grand hotel this when you walk in. I've got a spot screen telly here. Uh, and unfortunately I've not got a sea view. Well, view of the brick wall. But who spends the time looking out the window when you want to be going exploring? So the bathroom has clearly been redone recently. It's in very good condition and it's not what you expect. So you get the extras, so the extra soaps here, uh, little amenities and glasses. You can get the extra soaps here. But you can tell this has had a, a recent refurb sink there. Nice shower, all pretty damn new. Yeah, you know, there's odd bits of blackness here in the corner, but it's not something that's going to bother you having a shower. And the basics are, are all clean and all there. It's uh, a lot shinier than it actually looks on the camera. This, when I did get here, the, the towels were on the bed uh, and they arranged quite nicely. Um, Absolutely useless being on the bed, I'm going to sleep there, so I took them off. So yeah, toilet here. Overall though, it's not bad, not bad at all. Bearing in mind this cost £35 a night. I mean, what can you get for £35 a night, especially with inflation? You cannot get a Premier Inn before anyone says that. Uh, I had a look tonight, the cheapest Premier Inn I could find. It was £64. 
uh, and you also had to pay for parking on top of that. So I'd say this is an absolute bargain. I parked outside on the road, it was free. So uh, if you are coming to the Britannia, um, you can park for free after six o'clock until nine in the morning. Britannia does have its own car park, but it's eight pounds a day and I'm only here for one night, so perfect to park outside, nice and easy. It's quite a nice area. You've got a pier opposite, which I'll show you in just a second. <laughs> 